Hello everybody, welcome to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hamker here with you. Today we'll be talking about the new film Marriage Story. But first, let's start with the drink. Uh, so the drink I figured we could do for this one is... Uh, oh, fuck, yeah. Nope, start over. Start over, start over. <sighs> Hello everybody, welcome to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hamker here with you. Today we'll be talking about the new film Marriage Story. Now, Marriage Story is kind of the opposite of its title. It's about um, really a marriage ending. Um, and it's about a couple, Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver, going through this uh, uh, very painful divorce. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this movie is kind of hard to watch. It's, it's uh, a little depressing. It's very sad. And... Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the phrase soul crushing uh, a bit uh, for this. And so because of that, I figured the most appropriate drink to do for this is the whatever you can find in the liquor cabinet drink. And so I found this in the liquor cabinet and I'm just going to pour it away until my sadness goes away. Now, I'm not advocating just to drink away your sadness. I am advocating to do that and not to drive. Don't don't ever do it and drive. Uh, so uh, we'll just start to pour and you know what? Actually, I got a better idea. I mean, you'll thank me. Seriously. So, one more thing. No good drink is complete without the Maraschino Cherry. Marriage Story is written and directed by Noah Baumbach and stars, like I said, Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson as a married couple that... Uh, have just dis fallen out of love uh, and uh, and decided to go through a divorce. Uh, what this movie does so well, and I'll begin with its writing uh, and directing for that matter, because I'll go into that a little bit, uh, but the writing is so uh, spot on and authentic and real that it, f it just feels like these real people going through these intense and uh, oftentimes very emotional feelings about you know losing their way in their marriage and they you know, anybody that's gone through it or anybody that hasn't gone through it can can kind of relate to 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 at least that kind of thing to to being with somebody and 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 not feeling the same way that they used to feel about them and that's where this couple is um, And I think what's so great about this uh, is that it is relatable in so many different ways. You don't need to have gone through exactly what these people have gone through. You don't necessarily need to have gone through a marriage to uh, empathize with what they're going through or have a child, which these this couple does, and which adds to the great complication of going through this divorce. Um, and um, I know what you're what you're thinking. You know, why would I even watch this? Why you should watch this is uh, is because of the acting, the acting by uh, Adam Driver and moreover Scarlett Johansson in this. Um, Scarlett Johansson is a revelation. I've uh, I've never really considered her. I've always thought she was good. She's very good and very watchable in what she does. Um, but this, in addition to Jojo Rabbit, which I'm going to talk about later, uh, has skyrocketed her up, in my opinion, and as one of the great actresses working right now. Um, she has a moment close to the beginning of this movie, uh, which is, you know, kind of goes along with the directing. Uh, there's, there's a moment where she's first talking to her lawyer and she talks about why she thinks things went wrong, um, where she wants to be in her life, where she feels like she is, where she feels like she's going to go. And it's a, it's a, it's a two take, two take, uh, scene or two, uh, two shot scene, excuse me, um, where it's one long take and then an edit and another long take. And it just, uh, Noah Baumbach, who wrote and directed this, lets the, 
lets Scarlett Johansson and her character kind of just have the stage, if you were, if you will. Uh, it feels like watching a play at this point, and her character just goes through this emotional roller coaster, and it is it is riveting and it's heartbreaking and it's it, it's uh, if you want to watch incredible acting. You watch this movie, um, and she's she's not alone. She does fantastic, but then Adam Driver, uh, who I'm every, each thing I see him and I'm loving him more and more, uh, is also incredible. But he has very quiet emotional scenes that um, that kind of build and build and build, and until you really see him at the end, kind of. Uh, I mean, break down a little bit, but sort of hold it in, and it's just this very real moment that he has. Um, there is a there is a scene that's been kind of memed about a lot in the on the internet on Twitter and stuff about their their fighting scene. It's a very loud scene. And it's very effective to me, uh, but it seems to be ma being made fun of. But it in no way describes this movie. This isn't about people yelling at each other. Uh, it's about people figuring out how to um, part ways with each other. And uh, and 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 back to the writing. It's done in such a way that the, the, the themes scream out in this. It's about people figuring out how, how to act when they're scared, when they're angry, when they're, when they're sad. I mean, people do things out of fear that you normally wouldn't do, uh, like get, get, uh, lawyers involved that are very cutthroat and maybe they didn't want to be cutthroat, but then they're talked into being these ways. Uh, th this movie delves into all this stuff and, uh, Laura Dern pops in as, uh, Scarlett Johansson's, uh, uh, kind of uh, voracious lawyer, but she's also very affable and very likable. Um, Ray Liotta and Alan Alda kind of, uh, go back and forth as, Adam Driver's lawyers, and they're also great. So there's a great kind of ensemble cast happening here. Um, Merritt Weaver, uh, who um, I'm loving more and more. Uh, if you don't know who that is, please look her up. Look her up. Plays um, Scarlett Johansson's sister, and there, there's these very funny scenes with her, which is really weird about this movie. That there are little funny moments sprinkled throughout, and um, I. I want to say I loved it, but it's it's very hard because it's a very hard movie. I was very emotional throughout, and I think uh, most people will be if they let themselves really dive into these characters. Um, so uh, it's a big recommend for me. I'm not sure if I'll ever watch it again, but uh, have some of this ready afterward because it's it's a tough one. It's a tough watch, and uh, I, I think everybody should check it out because it'll it'll kind of show you maybe what not to do or maybe to appreciate what you already have. Um, anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Uh, uh, have a drink on me, and uh, cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.